Salut à vous tous et bienvenue sur ton émission préférée Catch Up Plus on a Forever TV where we bring you entertainment gossip. Take a look into the world of tech and sports. I'm Laba Vitian. Let's take a look at some of the trending stories. <music> Now on our first story, a lady literally held a funeral themed a birthday party at a rat after recently turning uh, 30 years old. Now the TikTok user arrived at the venue of her birthday party in a casket and those who turned up for the event also wore black and then she captioned the video, rest in peace to um, the interesting moving on. Let's talk about uh, the uh, Russia-Ukraine situation, at least that's what I, I am calling it. Now, the Nigerian government will begin evacuating Nigerians uh, stranded in the Ukraine-Russia uh, crisis as uh, from tomorrow. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey uh, Onyema, literally disclosed this at a meeting that he held with the Speaker of House of Representatives. Uh, meanwhile, FIFA and the UEFA have announced that Russian clubs uh, and national teams as suspended in all their football competitions um, until for the notice of uh, the invasion of uh, Ukraine. The United States uh, Department has also asked um, its citizens to leave Russia immediately amid uh, the tensions that are happening right now in Ukraine. Uh, also, the Biden administration has announced additional sanctions against Russia's central bank and prohibiting Americans from doing any business uh, with the bank as well as, as freezing uh, its asset with the United States over the invasion of Ukraine. The latest, however, is from a Twitter user that says two persons have reportedly died from freezing at the Ukrainian border. In some of the news, a Nigerian music star T. Meyer uh, is sorting God's intervention in his love life. You heard there correctly. He tweeted, and I quote, um, may God not let me fall in love. So does that mean he's heartbroken? Well, with all the drama that always surrounds T. Meyer's relationships, uh, I am definitely sure we'll find out soon enough. Well, there's a viral video making rounds on social media that has got a lot of people talking to Nigerian women say they expect a guy to give them transportation after a date. What are your thoughts on that story? Leave a comment on the comment section right down below. Now, let's move on. Napoli star Victor Osimhen has emerged as Manchester United's top target to replace Cristiano Ronaldo. I know. According to the football, Italia, Manchester United have approached Nigeria's Osimhen, but Napoli are demanding for at least 100 million euros for the Super Eagle striker, who has, by the way, scored 11 goals in 22 appearances across all competitions uh, this season. Nigerian actress turned pastor philanthropist Tonto DK is letting us know that she would do anything that brings money except for selling her body. Just to clarify, I have been getting so many messages on what I'm supposed to be posting and what I'm not supposed to be posting. The truth is, uh, some, someone say, oh, I'm too godly for this kind of post. And I actually I actually believe that. And the same thing I told God, that I was too, too godly for all that he let happen to me you know so i'm in the face of my life where i don't give a and that's not because um i'm hurting i just want to leave okay so whatever is going to bring me money apart from me selling my body I, I would do it i would do it okay so get used to it or get my page thank you now, South Sudanese model Ayang Deng admits herself, uh, has admitted herself into a psychiatric hospital after excessive suicidal thoughts. Now, she says that she has been diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and PTSD, and she's getting the medication that she definitely needs. She's also calling out to people who feel the same to seek for help or at least DM her, her uh, during this period. Now, if you're having suicidal thoughts or you know someone that does this, uh, please don't hesitate to contact the Nigerian Suicide Prevention Initiative hotlines right there on your screen. Now, this next story is rather fascinating. If you thought you understood the word slay, you might want to rethink that because this next viral video takes slay to another level. That's a car with lashes.
right, guys, that's it for the entertainment beat. Now let's take a look at what's happening in the world of tech. Now Toyota will short down all of its 14, 14 of its factories in Japan after a possible cyber attack. According to reports, a Kojima Industries Corporation suspended suspected it had been hit by a cyber attack, causing a halt in the production. Now, interestingly enough, Japan's uh, factories account for about a third of Toyota's production. Still in technology news, a Twitter has confirmed that Russia has limited Twitter in parts of the country. And now in a statement, the company said, we are aware that Twitter is being restricted for some people in Russia and we are working to keep our services safe and accessible. Now, meanwhile, Russia's um, communications a regulator accused, of course, Facebook of violating the rights and freedoms of Russian citizens. Facebook, in response, said it had refused to stop fact-checking and labeling content from state-owned uh, organization. At the same time, internet connectivity watchers at NetBlock say there is a total or nearly a, a total restriction on Twitter in Russia currently at the moment. Moving on, let's talk about Zuckerberg. Meta founder Mark Zuckerberg has uh, unveiled very serious, ambitious uh, artificial intelligence project describing AI as the key to unlocking the metaverse. Now, in a live streamed demonstration, he created a basic virtual world, including uh, an island, trees, and a beach using the AI uh, Future Builder Bot. Now, Mr. Zuckerberg also announced a plan to build a universal speech translator. I know a lot of people are very excited about that. Moving on to TikTok. If you're a TikTok user, TikTok videos are about to get lengthier. Now, a spokesperson for the app confirmed and then TikTok will now allow users to create uh, um, videos that will last up to 10 minutes long. I know it's very exciting for my niece at home right now. All right, let's talk about Bitcoin has become less green since China cracked down on mining uh, the cryptocurrency. Now, the share of renewable energy powering mining fell from 41.6% in 2020 to 25.1% last August as miners stopped using Chinese hydro and moved to the United States where gas supplies much of their power. Now, researchers are estimating that Bitcoin now causes carbon emission comparable to agree. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Make sure to click on that subscribe button and that notification button. And also subscribe to all our other social media platforms right there on the screen. Thanks for watching Catch Up Plus on Forever TV. I'm La Belle Vision signing out.